Now, look, man, I must say this. All the people who don't press the like button on this video, that means that you think that Kenny Omega and Will Ospreay are the two greatest wrestlers of all time. Not just today, but of all time. I'm like, bro, if you think that, you are the problem with how people view fans. That has to be the most dumbest, most ignorant statement you could ever make. How can you say Omega and Will Ospreay are the two best of all time based off a 40 minute match with tons of false finishes and tons of unrealistic spots? It's like, wow, man, you are a mark. Those are the people who don't press the like button on my videos. It's all the smart marks. How dare you say Omega is the greatest of all time and Will Ospreay, look, look, look. If you never stepped foot in the World Wrestling Federation, you are not in the GOAT conversation. By, by that same logic, why not call AJ Styles the greatest of all time? He is a triple crown champion. He is an IWGB champion. He is a former Impact Wrestling World Champion. He is a former WWE World Champion. He has a better case then Omega and Will Ospreay, are you insane? Dude, press the like button on this video. If, if you feel Omega and Will Ospreay, they have no business being in the same conversation as the greatest of all time. I, dude, I guess Shawn Michaels never existed. I guess Stone Cold Steve Austin was a myth. He don't exist, right? I guess Hulk Hogan never existed and, and he was just our imagination. This video should be over 100 likes. So what do I think about all elite wrestling fights forever so far as I'm playing it? Now, I feel like this game is great. I love every aspect of this game. Um, dude, these controls are very easy, very simple. These controls remind me of No Mercy. These controls remind me of WWE 2K14, which is the greatest 2K game of all time. This game is highly addictive. Look, I don't get you people, right? You people are so weird. It's like... Listen, I know I rag on all elite wrestling on a weekly basis, but at the same time, I don't take them for granted in terms of I'm glad they are around to give us a alternative. See, you people are losing the point and the aspect of all elite wrestling being around. It is a alternative, okay? Um... Why do you marks, dorks, keep shitting on the graphics by your same logic? It's like, why would you want to play a game that looks exactly like 2K? Just play 2K, you fucking dorks. It's like, I'm tired of you people. It's like, it's like you people making me have to defend all oh, elite wrestling. Have you seen my fucking videos? I'm very objective. I'm always crapping on this company. But it's like, you have to take my word seriously. If I'm always shitting on this company, but I say this game is actually great, bruh, you gotta take my goddamn word for it. It's like, what is your issue here? It's like, look, this game is based off arcade style. When it comes to 2K, they are based off of simulation, which means everything has to be pinpoint accurate and real. This is arcade style. When it comes to THQ, Ukes, they are based off arcade-like style wrestling. A oh, dude. What do you want? If these people are not around, what else do we have as alternative for 2K? 
what fire pro wrestling what what else is there so just take what you can get it's like this is what you wanted you wanted a game that was similar to no mercy it's like there's no such thing as a perfect professional wrestling game find me one please there's no such thing there's always going to be some dork that has at least five or four issues with some kind of game. There's no such thing as a flawless 10 out of 10 game. But what do I think about this game? I would give this game a 8 out of 10. And here's why. I focus on gameplay. That's what I focus on. Gameplay. Is the gameplay easy? Right? Fuck graphics. Why are you marks keep? Look, you are casual if all you care about is graphics. When it comes to us professional gamers, bro, we don't care about graphics. I'm a look, I'm a pro gamer, right? I'm a pro gamer. I don't give a fuck about graphics. Um, do you know who a guy by the name of Dr. Disrespect is? I watch him every day. He don't give a fuck about graphics. Do you know what he cares about? He cares about gameplay. He cares about audio. He cares about detail. He cares about the mechanics of the game, not graphics. If you are getting your ass whooped in a game, what are you going to blame it on? Graphics are the mechanics of the gameplay. If you are in a tournament, what are you going to blame when you lose? Graphics or your shit gameplay style? If the controls are easy to use, I don't give a fuck about graphics. Like, who cares? At the end of the day, this is a different take off of 2K. I want an alternative to 2K. I need a breath of fresh air. This game gives us a breath of fresh air. Now, is there a flaw about this game? I would say the make a wrestler option. Yeah, that might be a flaw in terms of, I feel like we need more options. I think we need more variety when it comes to the create a wrestler option. But I feel like they will work on that. Look, this game is not a done product. This game is not finished. They will still add more and more and more to this game. This is a game that they want to stand on for years to come. This is their Fortnite, which means they will constantly add more and more updates. So if you were to review this game, well, that review might not age well because they will keep on adding more and more, more, more and more features to this game. Um, what I'm hearing is they will add more and more people from New Japan, which means your precious Okada will be eventually in this game as a DLC. This game ain't finished. This roster will get bigger and bigger and bigger. And they will add more and more features if you tell them to add more and more features. This is not a finished product. They want more feedback. That's what they said. They said they will listen to every feedback and they will add more and more features at your request if you want it. For example, let's say I want Juice Robinson in this game. Okay. They will make sure Juice Robinson will eventually be in this game. But what do I think about the gameplay? Man, I love the game. But like this gameplay, the mechanics, the controls, it just reminds me of 2K. It reminds me of 2K14, which was, I think that was the last game from Ukes when it came to the WD. Um, I love these controls. It's like they're, they're, like they're simple, simple and easy. And right now, currently, I'm using Powerhouse Hobbs. Man, this dude, 
they made sure he he goes by powerhouse. <laughs> it's like all his moves are powerhouse like moves. It's like this dude is dominant on his game. Like all his moves are just powerful as shit. It's like it takes him a short amount of time to get his special, and that's what I love. Every character kind of varies. When it comes to Hobbs, man, he gets his special very easy because his moves are very powerful. They cause a lot of damage. See, those are the guys you got to use when it comes to Fire Forever. Use guys that cause huge damage. Hobbs, man, I loved how they made Hobbs. They made him powerful as shit. And I love how he looks. That looks exactly like powerhouse Hobbs if he was in a video game but from an arcade standpoint see this is a arcade point of view it's not supposed to look super 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 real like if you want that stick to 2k that's all I'm saying man it's like why complain about it don't play it if you want cool graphics even I'm like bro Pro gamers don't give a shit about graphics, bro. I know gamers that have made tons and tons of money by playing games with average graphics. Have you seen Brawlhalla? Those graphics are very average, but, but still, people are making tons of money as pro gamers playing that game, even though that game has average graphics. You see... That's all I know. You are a casual game if you are crying about graphics, bro. It's like you are a weirdo. You don't play games then. If all you do is fucking jerk off to graphics, you are a dumbass. Um, I love the overall detail, but I would say my one flaw about this game is when you play the when you play the battle royal. I don't like the fact that when you try to toss a guy out, you automatically turn your back on him and you focus on other people in the match. I'm like, bro, I'm about to knock this guy out. Why am I turning my back on him? Um, I would say, yeah, that might be a flaw when I was trying to toss people out as Hobbs and every time I was doing it, he always turned his back on him, which was always pissing me off. I'm like, bro, I'm trying to toss this guy out. Why is Hobbs turning his back on him to focus on other people in the match? So that was pissing me off. Like, I'm supposed to have way more eliminations than this. So maybe that might be a glitch. Maybe, I don't know, maybe. But, I, like, overall... This game has tons of potential. Um, I'm going to be playing this game every day now. Dude, based on the gameplay, I love just the simple, easy mechanics on the gameplay. I love all of Powerhouse Hiles' moves. They're powerful and they are simple. Simple, easy controls that are similar to No Mercy in 2k14 it's like just everything like 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 the overall feel is just smooth man the smoothness in this game i love look this is weird right i was watching tons of gameplay of other people i'm like bro y'all suck <laughs> i'm like this game is so fucking easy to play you have to suck dude all the gameplay that I was seeing from other people on YouTube, I'm like, bro, you fucking suck. <laughs> it's like, dude, this game is easy to play. This game is easy. Why are you struggling? It's like you are making people not want to play it. Dude, let that sink in. These people on YouTube, they sucked so bad at playing this game. It made you not want to play it. And I'm like, bro. This game is so fucking easy. Like, I was hearing people complaining about the easy mode feels like hard. I'm like, wow, bro. 
Stop playing games then, bro. That's insane. You said that the easy mode in this game feels like it's hard. I'm like, wow. You are trash. <laughs> like, you fucking suck. The easy mode, like, wow. There's nothing hard about this game on easy mode. You just suck. It's like, wow, man. But the part that just always makes me mad, right? You people was jerking off to wanting another version of 2K14. You wanted another version of No Mercy. You wanted a modern day version of Here Comes the Pain and we got it. Take what you can get. This game is that, but with more features. It's a evolved Here Comes the Pain. It's a evolved Day of Reckoning. It is more evolved with better graphics. And it's more detailed. It's like, I don't know what's wrong with people. It's like, maybe people just love crapping on all elite wrestling as a habit but I'm not I'm being very objective I think this game is better than the 2k this game is better than the current 2k 23 it's like I love the overall gameplay it's just simple easy and I love the graphics I love their take on the graphics in terms of they did it as a canvas, meaning there was no face scanning. There was no move scanning. All this was like a canvas. It was on top of the head. They didn't face scan anybody. That's old school to me. That's very, very old school because when it comes to face scanning, face scanning is not always good. Face scanning, you can botch face scanning like I feel like when it comes to Cody Rhodes I feel like Cody Rhodes looks better on here than he does in 2k23 and the crossroads looks way better on this game than 2k23 how the way they sell the crossroads that's how Kenny Omega sell the crossroads that's how Sammy G sold the crossroads I love how they didn't bury Cody Rhodes I love how they did Cody Rhodes a solid for what he did for, for that brand because I felt like Cody Rhodes left that company on bad terms and yet they didn't bury him in Fight Forever I feel like man they did Cody Rhodes a solid because they could have botched his face <laughs> and they could have botched his moveset and said, fuck it. But nope, they made Cody Rhodes detailed. I feel like this Cody Rhodes is way better than the 2K23 Cody Rhodes. But like I said, I love these kind of graphics. It's like, man, it's like, why are you Marks? so spoiled it's like all these years you were shitting on 2k23 and you were shitting on all these games from 2k and now now your ass want to shit on a new wrestling game that is literally a alternative to 2k what do what the fuck do you want there's no such thing as a perfect 10 out, 10 out of 10 wrestling game there's no such thing so get the fuck over it. There's flaws in every game. But when it comes to fighting games, graphics don't matter. Let me let me repeat. When it comes to fighting games, graphics do not matter. Gameplay and the mechanics, that's what matters. You are a casual if all you care about is graphics it's like dude fuck off this game ain't for you i want gameplay and easy mechanics so i can keep on playing it so i keep on coming back to playing it 
graphics, bruh, that's just cosmetics. It's like, I don't care about that. If you want that, to stick to... But when it comes to the music, man, I love the fucking music, man. This soundtrack, bruh, this is some of the best soundtracks I've heard for a wrestling game in years. Great fucking soundtrack. Now, there's people trying to complain about how come there's no commentary as you're wrestling. Okay, you gotta make up your fucking mind, right? Um, why would you wanna hear their commentary? You barely wanna hear their commentary on live TV. So, this might be a great thing. So, like, bruh, people always say they don't like the commentary on Dynamite. Okay, why the fuck would you want to hear it on a video game? They might be giving us some kind of break, actually. I feel like, look, this is them bringing back the old school. During the old school, there was no commentary there was just music that's that's the point you dummies this game is a take on the old school mixing in with new school but this game is kind of a of a fucking throwback to the damn glory days when there was just music with no commentary that's the point so it's like do you really want to hear that dork fucking Excalibur on commentary every match you have no I don't want to hear Excalibur I don't want to hear Jim Ross I don't want to hear I don't want to hear Taz I don't want to hear Tony Schiavone I don't want to hear anybody so that's different that is a different take on a wrestling game in this generation when we have no commentary I feel like that's a great thing who needs commentary it's like so you want to hear the same commentary on repeat like you hear on 2k that gets annoying bro hence why I don't play it all that often unless I'm trying to make a video like bro I'm tired of hearing the damn commentary it's the same shit over and over and over again but when it comes to Fire Forever there's no commentary which I love because that means we won't hear shit on repeat with the same wrestlers if you are trying to main a wrestler that means you will have to hear the same fucking commentary over and over and over again we don't have that here. So that is a different take, a different kind of feel to it. I love that. When I'm playing a wrestling game, I don't give a fuck about the commentary. It's just, I don't care about it. Because they have it on repeat. It's the same shit over and over and over and over again. So I love that. We have a chance to just focus on wrestling. Wrestling and music. That's old school to me. When you played No Mercy, all you heard was music, no commentary. So that kind of, um, that aspect, it takes me back to my childhood. When there was no commentary, just music. To so, for the next couple of weeks, maybe all year, man, I'm going to be uploading a lot of content for this game. On shorts, long form videos, I'm going to show you how you are supposed to play this game because man all the gameplay that i'm seeing from other people on youtube bro you are making the game look bad this game is very easy it's not hard people it's like wow how can you say this game has hard controls or they are hard to learn i'm like wow you suck <laughs> Shit, you fucking suck and i'm glad i'm finally playing this game so I can show you people how you play it this game is easy so I'm going to be possibly making multiple videos 
trying to teach you how to play Fright Forever, especially as Powerhouse Hobbs. Look, man, when you when you uh, buy this game, I'm telling you, play as Powerhouse Hobbs, man. He is powerful as shit. Look, man, when it comes to Hobbs, he kind of reminds me of Ahmed Johnson. That's why I like Hobbs. He really reminds me of, of um, Ahmed Johnson. That's why I'm a huge fan of Hobbs. He has tons of potential. Um, I love that CM Junk is a huge fan of Hobbs because now Hobbs has a strong push on CM Junk's new show on Saturdays. That's why we are seeing more of Hobbs in a strong spot now. It's because of CM Junk. So I might have to go easy on CM Junk now. Seriously, I might have to go easy on CM Junk because he is a fan of Hobbs. So look, I would give this game a 8 out of 10 based on the gameplay that's all i care about man um when it comes to the games on the side like the mini games that is a cool aspect man the fucking mini games we never had that so basically we have fucking mobile games on the side of this game i feel like that's new that's different and i love that darby allen gets to use a skateboard that's wild see if darby was in 2k23 there's no way in hell they would give him a skateboard to fucking ride on there's no way in hell and i'm hearing that um when it comes to orange cassidy um i think he could put his hands in his pockets for the whole match <laughs> I'm like, hold on, that's crazy. There's no way the hell he he would be allowed to put his hands inside his pockets for the whole match on 2K23. So I feel like, man, this game is so unique, it's so different. It's a arcade style game. So you can't really compare it to 2K23. Like I would compare fight forever to NBA Street and I would compare 2K23 to the NBA 2K right that game is based off simulation and street that's based off a arcade style basketball game so it's hard to compare those two because fight forever they don't want to be 2K I feel like people are losing that aspect they don't want to be 2K. What's the point of being a competitor when your competitor has the same exact copy of your game? What were you people looking for by that same logic? Right? It's like trying to compare Madden to Blitz. Seriously. It's like trying to compare Madden to NFL Blitz. It's like, bro, there's it's two different style games. One game is based off simulation and Blitz is based off arcade style fantasy like shit. That's what this game is. Five Forever is based off fantasy, which is based off arcade style. That's why I like this game better because it's my kind of feel, it's my kind of taste in wrestling games. I don't want to play a game that's too fucking real. I want a tiny bit of fantasy. So, at the end of the day, anybody who says they don't like the gameplay or this or that, bro, they just suck at the game, <laughs> okay? They just want to hate just to hate. Dude, people call me a all elite wrestling hater based off my videos, but how come I'm trying to defend them right now? This is a great game. I'm very objective. I don't play favorites. I'm not on nobody's side. I play it right down the middle. Um, should you buy this game? Hell yes, buy this game. That's what I'm saying right now. I need you to buy this game for yourself. Fuck the graphics. 
focus on the gameplay, the game feel, the game mechanics. Everything just feels fun. This game is fun. Fun mechanics, fun gameplay, and hell, fun as graphics. And if there was a wrestler I want you to use, you should use Powerhouse Hobbs and fucking Malachi Black. Use Malachi Black. He is a very underrated character on this game. He is a beast when it comes to this game, bruh. Play as Malachi Black. Oh yeah, and um, when you play the career mode, man, this is a great detail career mode. It is a clone of UFC 4. And I love playing UFC 4. They have a great career mode. I'm telling you. They have a great Road to Elite game, man. It's, it's a great story mode. I'm telling you, play it. And that shit is a different take on a wrestling story mode. Because, dude, it really reminds me of, of UFC 4. Dog, it's the same kind of format. Same format as UFC 4. That's why this game is very underrated on the small little details that most games don't have when it comes to wrestling. So, I suggest you play Roll to the Elite because that shit is a carbon copy of UFC 4, which is a great aspect we need in wrestling games. That's it, I'm done.